Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and in this video I will show you 7 different ways to take a screenshot on this tablet. So guys, the first method is uh, by using this power button and volume down button. So you have to press them together okay, in order to take the screenshot. So I will show you. So if I press them like that okay so you can see now they take the screenshot okay and now once you finish the screenshot if you want to edit it if you want to crop it okay you can do it as well so you can see over here all the editing you can do over here the next method is the palm swipe capture so I open a website okay so for example I want to take a screenshot for this image so I use this side of uh, my palm okay and then I just put it on the screen and then I swipe it so I will show you so for example I want to take screenshot I just do it like that so you can see now I took the screenshot now you can do all your editing you can do your cropping everything you can do with this image so guys if this palm swipe is not working on your tablet you have to enable a setting you have to go into this uh, settings icon okay so once you enter into the settings option you have to scroll down okay and you have to select this option of advanced features just select it so once you select it here you will see an option of motions and gestures okay just select it so once you select it here you see this option of palm swipe to capture if it is disabled you have to enable it and then you can easily take screenshot with your palm the next method is by using the edge panel so if I take out the edge panel okay and then I just swipe between different panels so here we have this panel and here it says take screenshot okay so now whatever image you want or wherever you want to take the screenshot for example i want to take the screenshot for this part i just select this take screenshot option so i just select it and here you can see it take the screenshot for me and here i can do all the editing now how to enable this option in the edge panel okay so you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings just go into the display okay just select it once you select it just scroll down okay and here you see this option of edge panels okay so you just have to select it okay so once you select if it is like this off you have to turn it on okay so now it is turned on the second thing you have to do is you have to go into the panels okay and here you have all different panels okay so you can select all of them or if you just want to use this um, screenshot panel so you have to select this tasks option okay so just select it okay so then it will be enabled and then you can take screenshot with the edge panel the next feature is uh, using the smart select option so for example you want to take a screenshot for a specific part Okay. for example I open uh, this website and here I have different images okay and I want to take the screenshot for a specific image what I can do is I just open the edge panel okay and then I swipe the smart select panel okay I will show you okay so here so here you can see we have rectangle oval okay so for example I want to select this rectangle option okay so now I just select it and now here it is giving you the option to select any part on your screen to take the screenshot so for example I want to take the screenshot for this part only so I can just make it small so you can change its size okay like that and then you press done okay so now you can see it take the screenshot only for that specific part okay you can do all your editing you can put text and once you finish you can just save it in your gallery so you can see it says save image into the gallery so how to enable uh, this edge panel option okay again you have to go into the settings okay then go to the display okay and then go into the edge panels option and here you select this panels option and you have to select this option of smart select if it is disabled you have to enable it like this okay then it will work the next method is by using the assistive menu okay so here you can see on this side of the screen if I just take it out like that okay I just select it so you can see a small a window will open and here I have the option of screenshot I just select it so once you select it it will take the screenshot for you so how to enable this smart assistive option okay so what you have to do is you have to go into the settings 
once you go into the settings just go into the accessibility once you enter into the accessibility you have to select this option of interaction and dexterity okay just select it once you select it here uh, you will see an option of assistant menu okay so if it is disabled okay for example i turn it off if it is disabled like this you have to turn it on okay and then allow okay the next thing what you have to do you have to go inside just select it once you go inside you have to scroll down okay so once you scroll down here you see this option of show as edge icon if it is disabled like this okay you can enable it so this will appear on the edge okay if you disable it it will come here like this okay you can select it from here as well but uh, we don't want like this we want on the side on the edge as well okay and here you can change the transparency you can reduce it like that so it will be uh, more visible okay so like this if i go back so you can see over here so you just select it and then you can open the assistive menu the next option is the long screen shot so for example if you want to take a screenshot for a long web page for a full web page you can also do it just open uh, the internet browser and here you can see if you have uh, this website open and you want to take the screenshot of this full website okay so what you can do is you can use any of the option for example i want to use this uh, power and volume down button okay so now i take the screenshot and here you see a small icon uh, with this arrow on the down okay so you just start selecting it and it will show you your screenshot on the left side like that so now it is taking the screenshot for the full page okay so wherever you want okay you can do it okay so i want to make it more longer for the whole page okay so now it is save okay and now if i go into my gallery okay i will show you how does it look like so here you can see this is the page for the full page and you can see over here i can make it zoom and here is the page that i just take the screenshot so this is how you can take the long screenshot the next option is by using the google assistant so you can press and hold this home button like this okay and say take screenshot all right taking a screenshot okay so you can see it take the screenshot for me and then it is showing me different platforms where i can save it so for example i select the samsung notes okay and i add it to a new note okay so it will open in the samsung notes and then i will show you how you can save it okay so you can see over here this is our screenshot now what you can do just press and hold it like this and here you will see three dots and then here you see this option of save image okay just select it so once you select it it will say save in the gallery okay so i just go to the gallery and it will appear over here so here is our screenshot okay so you can see over here so this is how you can take the screenshot in your samsung galaxy tab a7 lite so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much